Hello, today I am going to talk about The Triangle Movie. This movie was released in 2009. This movie is a British-Australian psychological thriller movie. This movie is one of the complex movies to understand. Triangle has got a 6.9 rating on IMDb out of 10. Today we will try to explain to you about The Triangle Movie and discuss its ending. So grab your popcorn and enjoy our video. In the movie's opening scene, we see a woman and a child in which the woman was trying to convince that child that whatever is happening is all a dream. The screen goes black and again the same woman is shown and she was getting ready to go somewhere. Her name is Jess. She has a child whose name is Tommy. Tommy has an autistic disorder. Autistic disorder is a disease in which the suffering person doesn't have mental development. Due to Tommy's autistic disorder, he needs special care. That's why Jess has to take special care of him. Tommy was doing his painting and accidentally he spoiled the color bottle and Jess has to clean it. Jess was angry because today she had a plan to go out boating with her friends. While she was cleaning the doorbell rang and she went out to check, there was no one in the door. In the next scene, we see that Jess had come alone to the boat. The name of that boat was Triangle. Her friends were asking her about Tommy but she said that he has gone to school. This was surprising because today was the weekend. Her friend Greg thought that maybe Tommy was studying in some special school where they don't have a holiday on weekends. Jess also meets with Greg's friend. They were a married couple and their name was Sally and Downey. Sally also brought her friend Heather to this trip. There was Greg's friend Victor also. Victor feels something weird about Jess. While getting into the boat Jess said that she is tired and she wants to take a nap. And they start their boating trip. After traveling for some time the flow of air completely stops. A sea storm was heading towards them. After a while Triangle Boat was surrounded by that sea storm. While Greg was calling help from the Coast Guard through radio he received a call where a girl was asking for help. Greg couldn't understand her clearly due to the storm. A big wave hits the triangle and triangle gets filled with water and the boat was upside down. During this accident, everyone wore a life jacket. After some time the storm clears up but they couldn't find their friend Heather. The triangle boat was upside down and they got up on that boat and waited for help. In some minutes they saw a ship named Eolus and they started to ask for help. They saw an unseen man in the ship. They saw that the ship is slowing down and they got in that ship. They saw that this ship was empty and they start to check all places in the ships. While checking the ship Victor and Downey saw a display case in which there was a picture of that ship. This picture shows that the name of that ship is Eolus. Eolus is a Greek mythical character and his story is very interesting which we will discuss at the end of this video. Jess feels that she has already been to that ship before. Even though the ship was empty but they found fresh foods in the ship. Jess finds her keys also in that ship due to which Sally believes that her friend Heather survived the storm. According to Sally Heather is also on the ship and she was the one who dropped the key. At that time Jess feels that someone is following them and she tells her group about it. After that Victor starts to follow that person. Jess and Greg also follow Victor and they react in room no 237. Inside this room, there was a mirror in which there was written go to theater by blood. Jess and Greg were heading towards the theater and they had an argument between them and they got separated. Jess again reached the dining hall where her group got the fresh foods but this time all foods were rotten. Sally and Downey were also not there because they were gone searching for her. After that Victor comes there and we can see that he was badly injured. Victor tries to kill Jess and while trying to save herself Jess press Victor's wound in his head due to which Victor dies. After that Jess heard a gunshot and she reaches the theater following that sound. Here Jess found that Greg was dead and Sally and Downey said that before Greg died he told them that Jess shot him. This was quite shocking. Here we can see that a masked shooter starts shooting them. The shooter was successful in killing Sally and Downey. Jess was able to run away from there and the shooter starts to chase her. Jess reached the deck. Here Jess and Shooter start fighting and in this fight, Jess was able to overpower the shooter. Before Jess could see the face of that masked person, that person fell into the sea. Before falling into the sea the shooter told Jess that you have to kill them it's the only way to get home. At this point, all of her friends were already dead. But Jess heard some sound and she saw that all of her friends were alive. They all were screaming for help from the upside down triangle boat. The ship stops there and all of them get into the ship.
This scene was shocking and here we can understand that this movie was based on a time loop. After that Jess also understands that the person whom they saw on the ship was Jess herself. Jess starts to follow her friends and in this process, she lost her keys, and later her group finds that key there. If you remember when Sally found those keys, she assumed that maybe Heather dropped those keys and may still be alive. You may be thinking this may be confusing but wait till the end and all of your confusion will be cleared. Here I will call the new Jess Jess 2 so that you may not get confused. Jess starts to follow her friends and they reach the dining room where they see fresh food. At that time Jess 2 feels that someone is watching them and Victor starts to follow her. The real Jess comes to know that she was stuck in the time loop and the same incidents were happening again and again. Original Jess tries to warn Victor and they had an argument and Victor got accidentally injured by a wall hook. Jess goes inside the ship asking for help and she saw that there were many duplicate outfits and guns of that shooter. Jess also found many similar notes and there was written if they bored kill them all in her handwriting. She also finds lots of duplicates of her locate and she got sure that all these incidents have happened many times before and it is again repeating. To break the loop and save her group Jess took the gun and goes from there. But when she reached there she saw that one another Jess killed new Greg and new Downey. We will call this new Jess Jess Zero because according to me the new Jess boarded before the original Jess. Jess Zero tries to kill Sally also and the original Jess tries to save Sally. Sally goes to the radio room and sends a distress signal and this is the same distress signal which Greg received in Triangle Boat at the start of the movie. This again suggests that the entire group was caught in a mysterious loop. Original Jess reached to injured Sally and she saw that there were many dead bodies of Sally. The newly injured Sally was also in the same spot and she died in that spot. At that time Original Jess looks towards the ship and she sees that Jess 2 was throwing that masked shooter into the sea. And the loop again starts and Original Jess sees that the whole group is again standing on the broken triangle boat and asking for help. At this point, we viewers can understand that this loop starts again when all of the group members are dead. Original Jess desperately tries to break the loop but she keeps on doing the same things in which she was playing the role of the shooter. Here we can see that Original Jess wrote go to the theater in the mirror with blood, she was the one who killed Sally, Greg and Downey and she was fighting with herself wearing a mask. Always Original Jess wins the fight and before falling into the sea all the loop starts again. You have to kill them all it's the only way to get home. If you are thinking why is Original Jess trying to kill everyone wearing a mask. It is because Original Jess plans to kill them all due to which all the loop starts again and she will not allow her group to enter that ship and the loop will break. But as usually Masked Jess loses the fight with the Original Jess and the loop keeps on going. In the next scene, we see that the Original Jess was by the seaside and she has fainted. And when she got conscious she realizes that she was saved from drowning. She runs towards her house and she saw that another Jess is scolding Tommy badly. Here Original Jess goes near Tommy due to which Tommy gets scared and Tommy spile the color bottle. Original Jess rings the doorbell to distract the new Jess and she enters the house and kills the new Jess. Tommy saw that and he gets scared and Jess hugs him and tries to calm him. And this is the scene that we have seen at the beginning of the movie where Jess tells Tommy that this is all a dream. Original Jess also decides that from now onwards she will treat Tommy better. Original Jess thinks that the loop is over after killing the new Jess because she will not go to the boat ride this time. Original Jess packs the new Jess's body and puts it in the car so that she can dispose that body. She also took Tommy with her in the car. While driving a seagull hits their car and dies. When Jess goes to throw that seagull's body she saw that there were already many dead seagulls. At that time she got to know that she is still stuck in that time loop and all these incidents are part of this big loop. She desperately tries to run away from that place and Tommy starts to scream and she gets distracted. Due to this, they had an accident with a truck. It was a bad accident. In this accident, Tommy died. The dead body of new Jess which was killed by the original Jess was out of the car. Original Jess managed to survive this accident. At that time a taxi driver comes and asks Jess that if she is okay. Original Jess again goes to Greg's boat in the taxi. She again goes to that boat so that loop will start again and she can save Tommy. All of the movie scenes will repeat because all group members were in that triangle boat again. The movie ends here. So, friends. This is the story of the movie Triangle and I know that you are still confused. I will clear all of your confusion. To understand the story of the Triangle movie we have to understand a Greek mythology story which is about Aeolus.
If you remember the name of the big ship was Aeolus which is a Greek character. According to Greek mythology, Aeolus is a Greek god who is the king of events. Aeolus son King Sisyphus has escaped death twice. King Sisyphus had a deal with the God of Death which he broke. God of Death Anatos thought about punishing King Sisyphus and God of Death Anatos gives an offer to King Sisyphus to live for the third time. God of Death Anatos said to King Sisyphus that if he will be able to push this rock to the mountain top on his own then he can live till he wants. King Sisyphus agrees and he starts to push that rock but whenever that rock was close near to the top of the mountain it again rolls back down. King Sisyphus again tries to push it to the top and the rock again rolls down. This loop kept on going till King Sisyphus realizes his mistake. Triangle movie took inspiration from this Greek mythology. Now I will show you the connection between these two story. At the end of the movie when Jess was about to go to Greg's boat the time taxi driver asks her if she is going to return and she promises the taxi driver that she will return but she breaks the promise and goes to the boat to save her son Tommy. In this story, the taxi driver is no other than the god of death but Jess lied to the taxi driver and goes to save her son Tommy due to which she got stuck in a loop. You might be thinking Jess was not dead but why did the god of death come to take Jess into the afterworld? Some people think that the day on which she was about to go on a trip with her friends she hit her son Tommy for his mistake so badly that he dies there. Jess changes her clothes and goes for the trip and while she was driving she had an accident there where she dies and God of Death comes in form of the taxi driver to take her in the afterworld. After that Jess realizes that she did a great mistake killing her son and she asks the God of Death to meet her son for the last time. The God of Death gave her a chance but Jess tries to change the events so that she could save her son Tommy. Jess promised to taxi driver that she will come back but she doesn't come so the God of Death is punishing her by putting her in the loop of time. When Jess took a nap in the triangle boat she couldn't remember anything that had happened and that's why she was not able to change anything. With the help of Eola's ship, Jess was able to go back in time and she could meet her son. After meeting her son she should have gone with the taxi driver but she again goes to save her son due to which loop starts again. The only way to stop this loop is that Jess has to go with the taxi driver in the afterworld. Now I hope that you had understood the story of the triangle movie. Thank you for watching, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content like this.